Another student from India has been found dead in the United States. Another one. Who was it this time and what really happened and how many such cases have emerged this year itself? Let's break it all down for you. His name was Mohammad Abdul Arfat. He was all of 25. He hailed from India's Hyderabad. His father, Mohammad Salim, works at construction sites. And just last year, Arfat moved to the U.S. to fulfill his big dreams. He was pursuing a master's degree at Cleveland State University. But about a month ago, something went wrong. Arfat's father last heard from him on the 7th of March. That too, only for a few seconds. Arfat told his father that he was missing his uh, family and friends and that he wanted to come home. His father had reassured him that he could come during his vacation and if needed, he would send the airfare as well. But Arfat could not come back home. He never will. After that day, whenever Arfat's father tried to contact his son, the phone was always switched off. His only son had gone missing. Some say he was last seen at a Walmart on the 8th of March. That is according to CCTV footage at the store. Imagine the plight of Arfat's family. Their son had gone missing on foreign soil. They had no means to know exactly what was going on. They could only depend on the authorities and wait to hear something. More than 10 days later, on the 19th of March, the family's worst nightmare came true. Arfat's father received an ominous call from an unknown number. The speaker claimed to be a kidnapper. He said Arfat had been abducted by a drug-selling gang. The caller demanded $1,200, that's close to 1 lakh rupees, to release Arfat. Reports say the kidnapper threatened to sell Arfat's kidney if the family did not pay up. Despite all those threats, he did not explain any payment method. Dejected, Arfat's father turned towards the Indian government. He wrote to the External Affairs Minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar, seeking his intervention to find his son. On the 21st of March, the Indian consulate in New York said it was in touch with Arfat's family in Telangana and authorities in the U.S., the authorities said they were working with the local law enforcement agencies to find Arfat at the earliest. They did find Arfat, but it was too late. Arfat had died in Cleveland, Ohio. How did that happen? The details are not available. The Indian consulate has said it is anguished to learn of Arfat's death and that it is extending all possible assistance to transport his mortal remains to India. My question here is, why is this happening? What explains this? Is there a pattern here? 11 deaths in little over three months is not a joke. Just last week, another Indian student named Uma Satya Sai Gade was found dead again in Ohio's Cleveland. Abhijit Paruchuru was barely 20. His body was dis discovered in a car deep within a forest in Boston. Last month, Amarnath Ghosh was shot dead in St. Louis, Missouri, he died on the spot. The 34-year-old was a trained classical dancer, a student of Washington University. Before this, 23-year-old Samir Kamath was found dead in a nature reserve in Indiana. He was an Indian-American student at Purdue University. And that same week, Vivek Taneja suffered life-threatening injuries during an assault outside a restaurant in Washington. The 41-year-old was an Indian-origin IT executive. A week before that, Saeed Mazahir Ali, an Indian student, was allegedly attacked by robbers in Chicago. Another 25-year-old Indian student, Vivek Seni, was fatally attacked in Georgia State's Lithonia city by a homeless drug addict. Akul B. Dhavan, an 18-year-old, was found with signs of hypothermia. In January, 19-year-old Shreyas Reddy was found dead. He was a student at the Lindner School of Business in Ohio State. Another Indian student named Neil Acharya at Purdue University, Indiana, was confirmed dead days after going missing. In many cases, the authorities have ruled out foul play, that too, pretty early in the investigation. But the question is, what explains the trend then? 
Also, by the way, the country remains the top choice for Indian students pursuing higher education abroad. According to 2023 data, American colleges enrolled nearly 269,000 students from India. This was the highest figure ever and was second only to China. But will you as a parent be able to sleep soundly at night after sending your kid to America? Think about it. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.